Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, for today's video, I thought that I would do something about this process of purging and the dark night of the soul because I've been getting a lot of questions about it, but also because I myself am going through this very powerful purging stage and this intense higher vibrational energy integration process. And I figured that I'd bring forward some information to help myself as well as others who are going through similar stages. So as I spoke about in my last video, there is this intense purging energy right now happening at the beginning of this year, 2019, the birthing into 2019, which can lead to health issues or other detox or ascension symptoms that you might be experiencing. Um, I get a feeling that this is going to continue for many of you throughout the year. This year holds this integration of higher vibrational energy as we make our way further up the ascension escalator into 5D and as we incorporate and integrate higher energy within our physical bodies. Along with this surge of higher vibrational energy comes a surge of ascension symptoms and intense purging and some people experiencing what they call the dark night of the soul. So in today's video, we're going to talk about what is happening with all these intense purging and ascension symptoms along with integrating higher vibrational 5D light body. And we're also going to talk about the activation of higher open cellular structures and the activation of the four strand DNA and also offer tips on moving through these powerful ascension stages, the purging, the dark night of the soul. This transmission came through in writing first, so I'm going to go ahead and read to you what came through regarding all of this. And if you want to read along with this transmission, I'm going to put the transcript over on my blog. I'll put a link to the description below. So Abe starts by saying that people go through many different experiences to reach spiritual expansion. For some of you, integration of higher 5D vibration, frequency, and energy will come more easily and the physical body shift into 5D will be a walk in the park. Well, maybe on a rainy, stormy day where your umbrella is being annoying and you're getting wet in the rain, but a walk in the park nonetheless. For others, integration of higher 5D vibration, frequency, and energy will not come so easily and will also be like a walk in the park on a rainy, stormy day, but on that walk, you are the one target in the whole entire park to get struck by lightning. Some of the most common ways to reach spiritual expansion, unfortunately, are through intense suffering, purging, heartbreak, suffering in many different ways, and powerful suffering in which many call the dark night of the soul. Understand that whatever form of suffering you may find yourself in, in any stage of your life, it always comes back down to your connection to your soul. Your physical body is basically a soul or non-physical energy having a physical experience. Your soul is the puppet master, so to speak, and the physical body is the puppet, but not in a bad way, instead, in a way that was decided upon pre-birth. Now keep in mind, however, that as a physical body existing on Earth, you are also open to free will in the physical. So you as your physical form also have the free will to go along with your soul and pre-birth intentions or not. Oftentimes, the experiences in the physical will lead the physical person, mostly in the physical mind, to be led astray, to get lost for a while, and disregard the soul intentions through whatever reasons it may be. This creates a disconnect from the soul. It disconnects the physical from the soul. When there is a disconnect from the soul in any way, there is suffering because the higher desires from the soul aspect cannot be fulfilled in the physical. 
However, Jessica is asking about the suffering that she is experiencing through purging and higher vibrational integration. She's asking why is she suffering when she is connected strongly to her soul and to Abe? The answer is because there is also suffering when integrating with the soul and higher energy or higher vibration because you are swept up into the current of higher calling and higher vibration. When this higher connection is strongly made, there is both a soul body connection and a soul body disconnection. This disconnection comes from the limitations of the physical body versus the limitlessness of the soul. So there is still a disconnection, unfortunately. Therefore, it causes suffering. Suffering in a different sense than when the physical body is disconnected from the soul intentions, but suffering nonetheless. However, this suffering, the suffering when you make your soul body higher vibrational connection, it ultimately leads to non-suffering, an ultimate state of balance, joy, peace, and harmony within and without the body on a physical and non-physical level. In this video, we're going to focus on the suffering an individual goes through on the ascension path towards higher vibrational connection with the soul and higher calling. This is often experienced through the purging detox or what some might call the dark night of the soul. Let's first talk about the dark night of the soul. The dark night of the soul is this hopelessness feeling felt and experienced by the individual usually at the very beginning of the individual's soul expansion or soul journey towards higher calling. Dark night of the soul is suffering usually caused by purpose not being fulfilled and not knowing or fully knowing the purpose of life. There is great disconnection between the whole world of existence and the individual's perspective on a physical level, but it's brought on by the soul. This experience often turns the tables upside down, so to speak, but it ultimately flips the light switches on for the individual to see light in the darkness to see more than what was presented to them in the years up until that moment. Dark night of the soul is not depression, although it may feel like it and could lead to depression, um, but rather dark night of the soul is the opening of the light in the darkness. At first, the light is blinding and unknown sight occurs. You can't really see because the light is so bright. Blurry sight leads to confusion, which leads to more questions asked than received in the capacity of the old mindset. This step of the dark night of the soul does not happen for everyone. It happens very much so for those who need to break out of old prisons, particularly, definitely, prisons in the mind. The mind, for those who hold bars of containment in the mind, cannot be contained. Breaking out of these prisons made in the mind of the individual allows the individual to experience this limitlessness of the mind in a way that is sometimes too powerful to accept or understand. Dark night of the soul is the rearranging of the thought and belief systems held captive in the mind and the heart of the individual. It is the freeing of the prisoners held captive in the mind and the heart so as to ultimately free the soul. When going through dark night of the soul, feelings of depression, hopelessness, not light, and feeling like the whole world is against you may come up, we want you to know that in feeling these very low vibrational feelings, that contrast opens the door to the equal and opposite to occur. 
Jessica is recalling a quote that she heard recently on a TV show in which the character said, quote, I did not know that Rock Bottom had a basement, end quote. This resonated strongly with her in a way that she did not know at the time, but we are now going to tell her why. Rock Bottom is not Rock Bottom, but the opposite side of the coin. When you feel like you have hit Rock Bottom, not knowing why you are there actually keeps you there. But when you continue to keep yourself in the vibration of what feels like rock bottom, you actually anchor a yearning for the equal and opposite. Wholeness can be found at rock bottom because rock bottom is a side to the coin that energy flows to. If you've ever seen the movie on Netflix called Stranger Things, there is the so-called light world and the dark world existing literally flipped on top of each other, a right side up world and an upside down world, so to speak. Basically, a complete reality can be found in both worlds, both sides of the coin, because energy flows equally to both. We have been speaking to you about the many layers of the cake, the many layers of reality and vibration based upon your own personal vibration, frequency, and perception. You create the world that you attract through your vibration. The same energy is flowing to each layer of the cake equally, each reality, but that energy is being interpreted through different lenses based upon the vibration of the layer and where you vibrationally exist upon. Rock bottom has a very low vibration that keeps you anchored in low vibration until you find a way to raise that anchor to higher vibrations. A so-called basement under rock bottom can be found for those who wish to burrow or bury themselves further and deeper into the lower vibrations rather than face why it is that they are there in the first place. To get yourself out of rock bottom, you have to understand why you are there in the first place. In a way, Dark Night of the Soul can be classified as rock bottom for many who experience it. Rock bottom has to be experienced by these individuals in order for them to experience and know the equal and opposite. Dark night of the soul, in a way, is like that strong force that propels you into the higher vibrations, like a slingshot. For others who may not experience dark night of the soul, suffering in other ways propels you into the higher vibrations. Suffering comes in many forms. Dark night of the soul is most often emotional suffering. Others go through suffering in the physical, others go through suffering in the mental, although Dark Night of the Soul can also sometimes be mental suffering. Others go through spiritual suffering, meaning that their belief, faith, and religion pot is stirred. However, keep in mind that suffering is not contained. When strong suffering occurs, strong energy of equal and opposite is made available. Jessica has often argued with us about suffering and why it has to happen on the spiritual ascension path. Do non-physical energies like Abe take pleasure in seeing individuals on your planet suffer, she asked. Can't Abe just take her suffering away? And we say, most definitely, we, Abe, do not take pleasure in seeing individuals on the planet suffering during this strong, great ascension shift of Gaia, or during any other time in your planet's history. But we also cannot take your suffering away. Jesus was able to take suffering away when he walked the planet in the physical, but in the non-physical, Jesus has been working to foster healing within each and every one of you so that you may relieve your own suffering. Miracles occur in strong faith and knowing without a doubt that relief of suffering can be achieved. Miracles do not come from outside of you, they come from within you. When you hold strong faith in knowing without a doubt 
that relief of suffering can be achieved, then your soul, your higher self, your spirit team, they all work together with creation energy, healing energy, source energy, and other forms of open energy to bring in the relief that you are asking for and desiring in the physical in a way that you are able to receive and integrate it without resistance. Many ask for miracles. They ask and ask and ask, but in the physical, they do not have faith or they lose hope or have resistance in some way, which close the doors to fully receiving the healing energy that they desire. Flow with faith and open the doors to receive relief of your suffering. This takes us to something else that Jessica has been experiencing on her ascension journey. Her flow with faith, yet suffering that seems to only grow and grow and grow. This is, of course, in accordance to her physical complaints. So many of you have open floodgates to receive healing based upon your strong faith, hope, and love. Your ascension journey has opened hearts and minds and restored strong faith, yet you find yourself in the midst of strong suffering. Ascension symptoms, yes, but suffering nonetheless, with some of you experiencing even greater amounts of suffering without understanding why. When you open up to higher vibration, it strongly disconnects from the vibration of the 3D physical body. The 3D physical body was made to experience lower vibrations to align to your lower vibrational planet. Higher vibrations cannot integrate with the body without the body needing to adjust in some way. And for many of you already experiencing the shift into 5D, the strong pull of force between a 3D body and a 5D vibration is much too strong. There are many light workers slowly integrating and acclimating to the 5D vibration and body in accordance to the rising vibrations on your physical planet. They may experience some mild ascension symptoms on their way up, like the popping of the ears as the elevator rises to the top floor, but nothing too severe. However, there are other light workers who dive right into those higher vibrations, which send a sort of jolt through the body, so to speak. This jolt or surprising of the body in this way leads to an overload in the senses. It leads to an overload in the organs and the blood, the cells, the DNA. Absolutely everything in the body is overloaded. When this happens, another ACE way of integrating higher energy is through purging. Purging is the release of everything hindering the 3D body from accepting or integrating the higher vibrations and energy. Complete purging of the lower vibrations and energy in the body include the release of physical, mental, emotional, energetic, and spiritual energy that does not align to higher vibrational energy. Symptoms of purging can be anything from whole body detox to emotional trauma release to loss of memory. It's different for everyone based upon the experiences the individual has been through in this life and in past lives and what needs to be released in order for the individual to integrate higher vibrational energy. In understanding what is happening on an energetic scale, when a person goes through these strong ascension purges, a person is able to move through the intense purging process and even take advantage of the purging process to fully release everything that needs to be released. When a person is unaware of the process that's happening, unaware that they're going through a purging process, resistance can often occur, which can draw out the purging process, or it can cause more suffering or hinder the ascension process in some way for the individual. 
ways to move through the purging process is with strong compassion and kindness and love for the self. Faith in a higher purpose, a higher calling, and a higher vibration allows you to move through the energy of the purging with hope and willingness and anticipation for what's to come. Your faith in knowing that all is truly well, despite the not-wellness going on in your own physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and energetic bodies, allows the process to take you on that high elevator up rather than down. When going through purging, many people can find themselves immersed in these old, lower vibrations, energy, emotions, memory, trauma, etc. that starts pouring out of them to be released. The energy wants to move through to be released, but some find themselves stuck in it, reliving the old trauma or vibration without giving thought to release it. Know that in the purging process, when something comes up for you of lower vibration, it's coming up to be released, not to be held onto. Many will find themselves facing past trauma, memories, and emotion stirring from years and years and years ago, childhood even. Instead of allowing that energy to sit with you, give it permission to leave through the offering of gratitude and love for that experience or that emotion. That experience or emotion or energy, you cannot change it from where you are. You can only create the feeling of acceptance for it and for what happened and also for where you currently are because of it. The feeling of acceptance during this purging process helps to powerfully release everything that no longer serves you without any resistance. Just when you think your purging process is complete, the final purge, for some of you that is, is often the worst. Your purging process will often move alongside your soul mission and your purpose path in the early stages. When you open your physical to experience your truest and highest soul calling, a path is made for the physical body to match and align to the energy and vibration of your soul calling and purpose. When the physical body does not match or align to the vibration of the soul purpose or mission, then integration between the body and the soul purpose cannot be made. Honing your abilities during the time of purging and suffering on your ascension path actually allows the higher vibrations and energy to better integrate and open within you. For some of you, it may open greater purging and suffering as you open greater and higher energy because your body is being prepared to receive even higher and higher frequency and vibration that cannot easily be integrated into a 3D physical body. Your bodies will eventually shift into your 5D higher frequency body as you move more and more into 5D from 3D. This is another reason why the great shift of Gaia from 3D into 5D could not be an overnight thing or a quick thing. It needed time to shift so that the people and lives on the planet could shift along with Gaia. An instant or immediate shift would be much too strong for any living creature on the planet to simply adjust to. The seemingly immediate and strongest shifts that some of you are going through right now in your purging and ascension process are still nothing compared to an immediate or instant 3D to 5D shift that Gaia could have made but chose not to because she wanted to take the living beings on and within her surface with her. Lower vibrational beings, the humans of your planet, would not have been able to make the shift without this so-called prolonged time to integrate the higher energies. 
Shifting into higher vibrational 5D bodies include open cells and open DNA. Changes to the blood, the organs, and other inner body functions are strongly integrated first in the whole body shift um, during these higher vibrational integrations. The sometimes hardest part in the body shift, especially for those experiencing it right now when the vibration on the planet is still low, is the opening of the cellular structures and DNA strands in the body. Your body will most definitely not be the body that you were born with. The 3D body contains many so-called sleepy cells, cells that are not working to their full capacity. Currently, cell structures act in this sort of inverted way where the cells are affected by the blood versus the cells affecting the blood. The state of blood in your body has ended up affecting the open energy of the cells in the body. So when the blood is strengthened, the cells are strengthened. However, for many 3D bodies, the blood has actually become toxic, so to speak. Toxic in the way that it does not help in the healing process for many of you. Stronger blood in 5D bodies mean faster, easier, and stronger abilities to heal. Bodies are not weak in blood in 5D like they are in 3D. Bodies are strong in the blood in 5D. In having stronger blood in 5D bodies, the cells will be able to do the work that they are meant to. The role of cells is to provide help throughout the whole entire body. They provide help in the healing process along with many other functions throughout the whole body. In the 3D body, the cells are strong, yes, but not to the extent in which they could be. Because of the more toxic blood, so to speak, cells are not able to function strongly in the way that they could be, and there are many cells that are asleep, like we said, meaning that they're not functioning to their highest ability. In the 5D body, cells are all open and strongly estimated to affect the blood, not the other way around. So the cells affect the blood in 5D versus in 3D, the blood affects the cells. Cells will affect the blood in a 5D body because cellular memory will be open and strengthened. Strong open cells will open strong blood and the strong blood will carry the strong open cells throughout the entire body. Cellular memory is open and strong in the 5D body. This is important because cellular memory holds the soul memory. Cells are not open in this way in the 3D body. Now keep in mind that the loss of old, fragile 3D cells will begin when the body integrates higher frequency 5D energy. The body will integrate higher, open cells. The body will not shift the old, fragile cells into higher, open cells. So the old, fragile cells will be released from the body. For most people, the release of these old cells will happen through the skin. And when the old cells are released through the skin, it may open intense scratching, hives, and other skin issues throughout the whole body. The new cells integrated will get to work immediately opening cellular memory, soul memory, and help aid in bringing forward your inner lost knowledge from your soul memory into your entire body. The reason for intense integration of the whole body is because the soul memory is being integrated in the whole body through these open new cells. Your integration of 5D higher frequency, vibration, and strong soul memory and inner lost knowledge is not only held and integrated in the heart and the mind, it is integrated in the whole entire body. 
your DNA is also changing. It is working alongside these new open cells to integrate higher vibration, soul memory, and inner lost knowledge throughout your whole entire body. Inner lost knowledge will not be integrated with everyone moving into 5D. It will be integrated in those who are doing the work to retrieve their inner lost knowledge, many light workers and way showers of your planet. Activation of the four strand DNA has been made for many on your planet. It is available for anyone to upgrade to basically, but the whole body upgrade must happen first. This includes going through the intense purging process and activating a higher frequency body first. Then the cells and the DNA activations and changes can happen. The body environment must be acclimated to the higher frequencies and vibrations first before the changes to the cells and the DNA can happen. The four-strand DNA activates the light body, the 5D body existing anywhere between 3D and 5D, meaning that your light body, your 5D body, can go between the lower vibration of 3D and the higher vibration of 5D with ease. It is strong enough to exist in 3D and 5D. The four-strand DNA opens up knowledge. Knowledge not only of the earth existence, but knowledge of greater existence. For many non-light workers moving into 5D in the future, they will experience a greater sense of purpose and knowingness with the four strand DNA activation and the open cells, but they're not going to be able to quite put their finger on that greater knowledge available to them. It's like knowing that God or Source or the Greater Creator exists, but not knowing what exactly it is. For those of you moving into 5D who are able to open up your soul knowledge and your inner lost knowledge within you, it's like knowing that God or Source or that Greater Creator exists, but also having the understanding of what it is and having a personal connection to it as well. We describe the four-strand DNA more like this. Think of it as a promise of stronger, greener pastures after the storm. You're suffering in the physical, mental, emotional, energetic, and spiritual bodies are not in vain. There is a greater purpose. When you are going through the suffering, suffering of any kind, whether it be ascension symptoms or not, ask yourself, why am I here? When you ask, the answer will come with greater understanding for your situation. It is only when you understand where you are that you can open your whole entire body to integrating higher frequency from where you are. You cannot get there from here. You must move through the energy of where you are, come to understanding of where you are, and open strength in finding that greater purpose. And when you do this, you're able to open a very strong connection to your soul and your purpose. Abe in Oneness is complete. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Until next time, we leave you in oneness and love.